Have you ever wanted more pleasure in your life while you are still in the right space for the final month of the year? My name is Rachel. I've been intimacy coaching for 11 years. And this month, actually, sorry, this year, (laughs) we've been doing a different series every month talking about ways to incorporate pleasure into your everyday life for yourself and a partner relationship. And if you haven't figured it out, by the way, it's not really about direct pleasure. It hasn't been for majority of this year. It's about understanding ourselves, our needs in a relationship and how we actually are operating so that we can really get what we're looking for. So uh, this whole series for the month of December, we're talking about things, in my opinion, as an intimacy coach that are hindering us from really enjoying our relationships fully to the max. Okay. And today what I want to talk about is the lack of radical acceptance. Okay. Now specifically around self. Okay. Like you're going to have to, of course, have some radical acceptance about your environment and your circumstances, but it doesn't mean you have to be happy about them. And that's the difference. Okay. When I talk about radical acceptance, a lot of, a, a lot of us are struggling with that ability to really be a, in that space for self. I I don't accept my circumstances. I don't accept my body. I don't accept my belief system. I don't accept my financial circumstances, all of these things, right? And the problem with this is that when we live in a, a place where we're not grateful for what we have, we continue to focus on lack. It continues to allow for us to spiral deeper, deeper, deeper into the other things that I don't have. And why don't people consider me? And why don't people love me? And what am I doing wrong? So it's not to say that these feelings are wrong. You actually should be feeling these feelings. Oh, God, like, get, don't get it twisted. You need to make sure that you're allowing these to process because when you bury them or push them under the rug, they're still there. That's a problem, okay? This is more about the understanding of, oh, God, this was a shitty day, but this does not mean it's a shitty life. Oh, my God, this has been a shitty week, but this does not mean it's been a shitty life. Oh, my God, it's been nonstop after nonstop after nonstop. It's been a shitty month. Not a shitty life. Holy effing balls. 2023 was a shitty fucking year but it's not a shitty life. So when we can be in that radical acceptance that this too shall pass, very cliche, but also incredibly true, then what it does is it doesn't magically manifest that the universe gives you everything that you want. I know that's uh, that's a hot topic issue amongst people who believe in manifestation, but what it does is it puts your mindset and your focus into a better feeling. And when you're in a better feeling, you can operate better, right? When, when you're a low-level feeling emotion, you're going to do these activities that transcribe with low level feelings when you start to feel better about yourself and oh you know this too shall pass this is just a day whatever whatever then you can then start to move towards action that brings that truth to light you can choose yourself you can choose opportunity you can choose to get up and move you can choose to find a new job you can choose to go back to school to learn a school to a skill to get a new job whatever the case may be which mindset feels better So when we're in radical acceptance, it's not about excuse about where we are or what somebody may have done to us. It's just like, oh, it is what it is. This is difficult for a lot of people. I understand. But I'm telling you from heart to heart, get there as soon as you can. So thanks so much for being here. I'll be back tomorrow. Got to go. Bye.